Let's get some more analysis on this now. Rod Thornton is also live with us. He's an expert in the Russian military at King's College, London. Thank you very much indeed, sir, for joining us on the programme. Can I just ask you, first of all, on what your read is this afternoon on how that march to Moscow affected Vladimir Putin himself and how damaged do you think the president now is? Well, first of all, to say, where was this march? I mean, was it just a figment of somebody's imagination? There isn't any kind of film of this massive march, 5,000 or so troops or Wagner troops on their way to Moscow. Um, a few dribs and drabs of forces um, filmed on a road. So, But we haven't, so we haven't got confirmation that this kind of march for justice, as Prigozhin called it, actually was occurring. Um, but it does weaken Putin. Putin to be in this position, to be threatened in the way he has been, by this upstart, uh, his former chef, Prigozhin, is really embarrassing for, for, for Putin because Putin is like the old Tsars. He relies on the support of the public to be in power. He needs to, to um, kind of show to the public that he is in charge in Moscow. He's in charge at the center and he can rule Russia on their, the people's behalf. To be weakened like this so publicly and to be shown to his own people to be so weak and in such a, a kind of precarious position is has to be demoralizing for Putin. And I wonder what you make of those images that we've been playing today on France 24 um, that the Kremlin has released of the defence minister, Shoigu. Um, we know Prigozhin has called for him to go. The fact that these images are being released, even though we don't know when they're actually dated from, does that suggest to you he is likely to survive this? Um, that's a big question. I do not believe those pictures, like you see there, you see Prigozhin in a helicopter, are you going to be in a helicopter anywhere near the battlefront when you're facing kind of ground-to-air missiles from your own side, from, 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 say, the Wagner forces? No, he's not. I don't believe that this is any time recent in this film. It's it's old stock footage that of Prigozhin uh, visiting uh, the headquarters some time ago. And also from another point of view, from the kind of military's point of view, I can't see them organising a visit by the defence minister in the few hours they had uh, between the uh, between the kind of events of yesterday and uh, and uh, what's happened. I, I, this film, I cannot believe, is 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 true. Yeah, but it's, it's, it is interesting, though, isn't it, that we are getting footage of Shoigu, whether it's recent or not, but we haven't heard or seen any footage of the army chief, Gerasimov. What do you make of that? Well, Gerasimov, as famously, uh, keeps a very low profile anyway, so we shouldn't really expect um, too much film of him. But for public uh, consumption, it would have been good to show uh, Gerasimov going around publicly uh, on his duties, which would have assuaged kind of uh, ameliorated with some sort of kind of uh, concern about where the hell he is. Uh, and also, where are the other guys? Where Where is uh, Putin? Where is uh, Prigozhin? These people have kind of disappeared. And this is kind of makes it all very um, interesting, shall we say, in terms of what's going to happen in the future. Which of these dramatis personae are going to emerge victorious? Indeed. And, you know, without leaning too far into speculation, I wonder what your thoughts are now on the fate of the Wagner group itself, led by Prigozhin, because um, we know that the Russian army had plans to try and absorb those, that force. Prigozhin, of course, very against that. Does the events over the weekend mean that it's sort of being disbanded? How do we understand what role they're now to play? Well, this all depends on, on the kind of tension between the GRU, the Russian military intelligence, uh, which actually backed or created Wagner forces. So it was again, Wagner did not appear out of nowhere. It was supported by the GRU, the kind of military intelligence army, uh, kind of elements of the army. And the GRU has always been in competition, shall we say, with the FSB, the Internal Security Force, who want to arrest Prigozhin. So which way does the GRU swing? Is it going to give up its support for Prigozhin and allow the FSB to have its way in terms of arresting him? Or, or what is going to happen? It, it's kind of, it, it's into Nisine politics in Moscow, and we, that's a dark art, and hardly anybody in the West could understand what is going on there now or in the immediate future. Rod Thornton talking to us there from King's College, London. Thank you very much indeed, sir, for your time and your analysis on the programme.